Hello Zebra Herd, welcome back to Wargroove. Today we are moving on to act two as we've made our way into the woods. Of course, Valder invaded Cherry Stone in the last episode and we had the retreat with all of our villagers and the such, so it has not been good. But now we are in the Florin Borderlands. Act two, mission one, June 13th, Beyond the Border. The party escapes to the Gloom Woods only to face fresh dangers. Let's find out what those fresh dangers are. It's this dude, yeah. Who are these interlopers? I'll try my best at that voice. I don't know how well it will work out. We don't mean you any harm, Florin. Florin, we just need to cross your lands. <laughs> Cla crossing through the gloom woods, a dangerous choice. The hunt. The, these are Florin lands, and this is where we live. This is where we hunt. <laughs> Humans do not come here. Hmm? Well, then Caesar will be just fine, won't he? The Cherry Stone Kingdom negotiated the right to safe passage generations ago. I know we don't use it very often, but we need it now. We have no choice. Sage Where the little lady seeks passage, Sedge seeks sustenance. <laughs> Do you threaten the Queen of Cherry Stone? <laughs> <laughs> queen, silly titles. Do not impress Sedge. Whatever you call yourselves, you're still just meat and bone. <laughs> Sedge will eat the old man first and the little lady for seconds. <sighs> Stand down, stranger, or be cut down. These guys are not very nice. Oh, we do get the place. Uh, I forgot to say, Emmerich. <laughs> this forest is so dense and the fog so thick, but we must press on. Yes. We should use our battle pups to scout ahead. Battle pups? That makes me both happy and sad. Pups inflict critical hits when another pup is adjacent to their target. Ooh, the, see, this is what I want to see. Adjacent to the target makes it a lot more viable and manipulatable, I guess. Uh, more importantly, they can see furthest through the fog. We should send one of them up this mountain. Oh, okay. Being atop a mountain extends the sight the sight range of a unit, so this is a good position. Sorry, I'm like hiccuping really bad. From which to spot hidden enemies. Well. Let's move forward, carefully. New objective, neutralize the enemy barracks or defeat Sedge. So this is interesting, we cannot actually see where they are right now because this is a foreign land, so we sort of have the fog of war going on right now. Um, so yeah, we'll go ahead and send one of the poppers up this way. So cool, oh gosh. <sighs> They're hidden among the trees. Foreign soldiers lying in wait. Now that we can see them, they've lost the element of surprise. Oh, uh, I don't, oh, so we don't get the, oh no, he's right here, Never mind. So let's actually read up on a couple of things then. This of course is Emmerich. Uh, he has four movement slots, four sight slots, or four like, like you know, sight units, I guess. Um, this learned and powerful mage is the trusted advisor of the rulers of Cherry Stone. Interesting. Of course, he's gonna be effective to everything here. Now, when it comes to the uh, the dogs, a quick unit critical hit another dog unit is or hit when another dog unit is adjacent to the target, as we already read. They, they do they are vulnerable to a fair amount here, but they are effective against all three of these, which are all the same unit. They seem to be. Yeah. Okay. So um, this is a soldier, basing infantry, useful for capturing structures, critical hit when adjacent to its commander, which there's no commander in sight, so that's pretty good for us. So we could actually, I'm thinking about this, like that would do 20% damage to us, which still might be worth doing. I mean, I could also have him run up. That would do 70%. Hmm. We have a ranger that we could maybe get somewhere. I sort of want to make him make his way out to a tree somewhere, but for right now we'll, we'll attack from here. And that'd do 52% damage already, which is a great advantage to have, armor or otherwise, you know? So I'll have that go like that. The problem is that like, these guys can walk out. I don't think the dogs can capture. Yeah. <laughs> so we want to make sure that Emmerich gets as close as he can for right now. Um, when it comes to you though, mm, I'd rather them co go and fight Emmerich than go and fight Wait, I didn't mean to do that, dang it! Oh, I just made them wait. Oh, that's just awful. Anyways, go ahead and attack you. And then we can have a dog hide in those woods that they were hiding in. Excellent advantage so far. Um. Oh, we actually can't. So we'll just do this then. Because I don't think that, oh, that's good. Um. You can reach us just yet. 
Let's see what this guy can do. He can move out this way, and then his friend can just be right here. Alrighty. Turn one for, uh, what was his name, Sedge, I think? Turn two, okay, so we don't know what they've done. They actually did not move any of their units here, which is actually great for us because we can capture this without an issue now. Alrighty, so they're gonna take that, as you can see, and it's already, you know, how it is, pretty good. So they can start attacking at any moment, which is a bit of a, a fear. I wanna keep these pups together for as much as possible. So some of our vision there gets limited, as you can see, once we get, hop off that mountain. Um, I can't move these dogs too far. But yeah, I can continue up that way. We can have another one over this way. Clearing out some of that to the left. And now Emmerich can move into these trees. I feel like it's also important for us to move into the trees for as much and as long as possible. I may wanna keep this guy around here for now, just in the trees protecting this place. Because we don't have any barracks. I don't know how we're gonna get more units if these guys get taken out. We need to take out the enemies. Because now we're in enemy territory. They're gonna go for the pup first, you monster! Oh, that drives me nuts. <laughs> Leave the doggies alone! Okay, so. Um, ooh, and you're gonna go ahead and attack that guy, but we can attack back next time. That might be a bit of an advantage. The only problem is that we're on the road, so we don't get as much defense. We do attack back, though. We should be able to get rid of them next turn. All right, turn three for us. Um, taking a look at everything, it looks like we could, first off, move here and attack for how much? 114%, that would be amazing. Not even gonna be able to attack back at all. All right, so with them down, I could move this dog onto the mountain here and get even better view of everything. We do need to start moving some units to the right, so I'm gonna, I'm gonna work around here. That didn't really clear up too much, did it? Uh, and I can attack from there, and they'll do 72%. That's excellent. So this is probably where we're gonna be keeping the archers for now until we know that this village is pretty much clear, which right now we don't, so it's where the worry comes in a little bit. And Emmerich can move, even if it's just a little bit, to here. And then maybe we can move these two javelin guys out a little bit. Oh, did I just make it ref... Ah, oh, that's not what I wanted. That thing's even lower now. Still can't really see too far in the woods. Let's see what Sedge is gonna do. Okay, more soldiers coming out. Which we can attack back pretty hard, and we have the defensive advantage this time, as you can see. So we do much more damage. What about this dog? No, leave the dogs alone. We have plus four defense over them, though, which is really good. Um... Ooh, yeah, so so far we're doing right. Or pretty all right. Emmerich seems to be, of course, a little bit more prepared for battle than uh, Mercy would be, which makes sense. So we have a couple places we can move here. I think it'd be great to attack these guys back. I mean, it's just one of them, so we should be able to guarantee that takedown. And then I'll move this guy as far into the woods as we can to maybe get a good view of this. It isn't perfect, but we can work on that later. To move you here and do the 77% ch ch chance of takedown. No, it's not a chance. I always think it's gonna be that way. It's 77% damage, which is enough to take them down. So now that we've done that, okay, this is, like, it has a rock there, but it's really still part of the road. I might just wanna keep him there, though. Then maybe have this one move up into the forest like that. Wait, why didn't it work? Oh, not that one, then this one. Okay, and then this archer I wanna keep there. I will move Emmerich out a little bit. I think we will move him out just like this. Didn't clear up much, unfortunately. But our next village is definitely gonna be this one. If these two can work together, we could probably get it. So we'll end the turn with that, because I still want somebody, because there could be somebody over here slowly making their way around and boom, steal our back end village. And then we're sort of cornered in. We don't want that. Okay, so turn four, they got this person. Gonna go for the pup again. Leave the pups alone. I think the dogs do more damage now. That did like, what, three and a half bars? That did a, almost a full four. Oh, see, there's some people hiding in there. I might just have to ignore them this turn if we wanna take this village now. Like, we'll attack back and luckily do much more damage. And now it's turn five, time for Emmerich to continue moving forward. Maybe it would be smarter to move these guys a little bit farther, like maybe onto the mountain. It might be smarter to move them onto the mountain. So we're gonna move them back over this way. And you are definitely getting taken down. Even if Emmerich has to do it himself. Let's see what cool magic he has. Is he ranged? Oh. 
I need to see that actually. We're gonna go and see that now. Like these guys, they don't have any attack range, so it doesn't say that on the top left, but for you, like your range is three. So what is your range? Nothing. Okay, so you still have to be next to them. Good to keep in mind. Um, but yeah, I want one of these guys. Okay, never mind. I keep on thinking they'll have to attack it down and then take it. Not gonna be the case. The dogs can't capture. What they can do is continue to move forward. And then, this is a mountain. We could have them stand on and get some good vision. Really good vision. So, okay. Have you attack? 87% will definitely be enough to take them down. They have the critical and everything, so it works very well. So far, this is going great. And I appreciate that. Move into this one and capture it. And that shouldn't be any kind of problem. There's nobody there to attack. Okay. Good job. So that didn't give as much vision as I was hoping. And at this rate, there's only one last dog to move, which I may keep him where he is. I mean, I guess we don't need vision on the top left. Super bad. Man, can he move it right now? I mean, there is still a lot more to go. Wow, we I didn't realize how huge this was. Thought it would just end it up here. No, it goes way, way up there. And we st like we need to work our way to the barracks as soon as possible then. We should take what we can along the way. Hmm. Okay then. I might move this dog to like here. Okay, that actually didn't ruin, okay. It sort of shifted our vision around, but I think we're fine. Turn five, so a lot of them are still making their way out, and they didn't do much that we could see. Huh? Emmerich, your groove is yes. ready. Indeed, the old man still has a few tricks up his sleeve. What does it do? I am able to conjure up a gem known as a cherry stone, a powerful protective object. Its aura provides a dramatic def defense bonus for our what? units. Wow. So that would make a defense. I don't know if we need that right now. We could go ahead and make him march forward and capture this without too much of an issue, so let's go ahead and try that. A tactical advantage. An advantage indeed. All right, well there we go. I like that, having that good vision as well. There is a little well here, but I, I, there's some like little artistical things in the environments, like the well, that don't seem to actually add anything. It's just information, like visual information, I suppose. Go ahead and get you on this mountain, and there's gonna be a great place to defend. I actually didn't really clear up the view over here too much, though. I was hoping it would do better. So what I want now, move some units over this way, as far as I can, really. And they're not in the woods, so that definitely add a bit of a danger. The fog of war is a Bit of a scary deal, but I do like it. Like the idea is pretty intense. We need to keep the dogs together for as long as possible. And this dog probably doesn't need to move. Them being on a mountain might be better where the where it is. Turn number six. Okay, so there was one hiding in here. Not good. Oh, yikes. But they get to attack back, not for much this time. Not for much at all. What I think I'm gonna do here, I mean, do they have the defense of the trees or are they in the ground? Uh, well, yeah, they're just on the ground. So I actually might move you here and capture this village. And then have, and it's not gonna have much health. Definitely not. But it can build up over time, which is the most important thing. And then have you attack and be enough to take you almost down. It's a critical, which is great. You know what? What if I moved here instead, attack? I mean, it won't attack or affect how much damage we do to you, it'll be the same amount, but at least they might not be able to deal much to us. I mean, they're down to 1% here, so if they attack at all, they're gonna be done for. Go ahead and move this guy a little bit further, and I think that we're going to move some of these guys across this little valley. Like Some of these dogs have some really good movement range. Wish I can move that far, but I can't. Hmm, next turn for sure. Move it back this way. Like maybe I should start inching the archer forward. I just don't think like it's a good idea just yet. Like maybe I could do this. Let's see how much that affects our vision. Not really positively whatsoever. This guy is tough so far. I mean, I need to check out what the objective is soon because I don't know, I feel like I'm getting a little lost on what the objective is exactly. So that wasn't even enough to take us out. Like, these troops are not strong but they have numbers and environment advantage. So let's quickly go to our overview. Neutralize the enemy barracks or, de or defeat Sedge, which we haven't found either. So this one's gonna take a little while because there's so much more left to conquer, really. 
I want to get this guy out here. And same thing with his friend. I didn't mean to do that. Yikes. That could be a big problem. Hmm. Okay. So let's get one of the dogs onto a mountain. That helps sort of clear out a good picture. And then definitely you can steal this barracks. That would be really helpful. A tactical advantage. A big advantage. I wonder if we can get carriages now. Interesting. Happening upon these old barracks is most fortunate for us. We should use this opportunity to bolster our ranks before crossing the river. Yes, we definitely should. We can't do it this round though, unfortunately. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and have this dog right here, I think. I don't know if that's the best idea. Then we can have this one a little bit closer to Emmerich. We can look a little bit down that bridge. Can't see too much information over here, which is bothering me. But I think we'll leave it with that for now. Let's see how close he is. We do sort of half the work in the dark here a bit. That's fine. Let's get to it. Uh, so yeah, we can spawn in everything we have so far. And a battle pup. I don't even know the battle pup just yet. We have 1,500 gold though, so we can really start with the expensive stuff first. If we want to have a knight, that'd be a great opportunity to take. I would love to get one of these dogs onto the mountain. I might just have to get Emmerich on there. Honestly, didn't clear up as much as I was hoping. Um, what might be good for now is to have you wait on this mountain and really make sure this area is clear. There could be a couple troops hiding down this way, but at this point, I'm not thinking that's the case. So let's have you make your way out this way. And same thing for this guy. Okay, I guess we're reinforcing. Okay, that's fine. Honestly, these things seem like they're pretty well protected, so I guess it'll be okay. Okay, end turn. Something happened over, oh no! <laughs> Are you scared yet? You should be. Oh no. That's turn nine for him now and he's taking a village. Concerning, very concerning. See, some of those units are moving up there. We can't tell exactly where they are, but what we can tell is that they are somewhere. Yeah, okay, I see that one. You guys aren't getting as far as you think you will. I can tell you that much. So, there's movement to the north and south. It may be wise to put some battle pups on the nearby mountains. Oh, don't worry, I, I've been doing that. So I could move that guy over that way. You're on a mountain already. Can't get you on a mountain just yet, little pup. But at this rate, I might wanna get another battle pup out soon. The only thing I'm worried about is I do need to get somebody over to that village soon. So I'm gonna get one more battle pup out. And then we're gonna move Emmerich over to this area. Because we're almost at the village. As soon as we can take that, that's a good advantage to have. I wanna be able to move this guy back on a mountain. I just don't know if this is a good mountain to have him on. I guess it's the best we got. For now, we'll do that. It clears up the forest a little bit, but that's fine. I'll move these guys as close as I can then to this forest and see if we can't fight some of those guys off. And this knight can really start moving now. Don't know where we wanna move them. I mean, we could have them sort of defend this area, because they can defend all these villages quite easily with their incredible movement amounts. Like, you're on a mountain right now. I sort of wanna leave it how it is then. Okay, turn 10. I'm gonna speed this up, because I can't really do too much anyways. Then I take a village. It's scary, but... I mean, as far as we know, they've taken all those villages, right? I think so. So they're starting to pop up, but we've been already well protected. So it was exactly what I was hoping for. Oh, there, wait, who is this? What are they, they're already on like a little sheep or something. <laughs> Powerful mobile ground unit, critical hits when six spaces away. So, they can't travel too much farther than what they already are. I mean, I say that, they can travel pretty far. Um, but they can't take buildings, which is, I mean, they can attack them, they just can't take them. So I wanted to take this one before they did, because I know they will. I'm gonna spawn in another knight, and this is where we do need to dive into a couple things. Uh, that are pretty deep. Oh, I can't see you now though. Because these guys are weak to like everything. The only thing they're effective against is rangers. Speaking of which, uh, I can attack from the mountain, which is really good. So, I mean, obviously, even if that's the case, we can really damage them down still. So that's nice to see. Um, when it comes to these guys, I can't quite reach them. 
But the best I could do is sort of make a little wall. It'd be great if I could, but they're weak to everything, it's crazy. Hmm. We'll go ahead and get this pup onto this mountain. It's nothing crazy, but it does give vision, which means I can, what in the world is this thing? A dog, okay, that's their version of a dog. A quick unit, critical hit when another dog is adjacent to the target, so we gotta be careful when they're in numbers. It's a quagmunt, that's where I can find that out. So you are a green guard, and you are vulnerable to one that we're familiar with. I guess, uh, the pikemen. And what is your name? These are the slashers, gotcha. So it seems to be like the largest extension of what I can do here for the most part. Like I said, I can have you charge down. I want you to be a little bit lower. And then I think I'm gonna spawn in potentially another pikeman. Try to get a group of pikemen working around somewhere. And while I could use some of these, or I could move some of them, I wanna have him move one over so we can see a little bit more down that way. End turn. This is an intense match. So there goes that guy attacking, unfortunately, uh, him, which did a lot more than I was expecting. Uh, that did not do as much as I was hoping. And you're gonna attack the village. Okay, then we definitely need some units over this way. Stat. Yikes, it's almost down already. Attack back, for sure. Mmm, I do not like that. These guys are gonna try to attack, I guess. But that's a bad idea. Did next to nothing to them. Okay, so they still have so many more units that can move, and they're moving. What are their dogs weak to? That's something I need to figure out right now. Um, well, they're effective against basically all that we have. Except for the javelins, good against them, and then our dogs are good against them. Well, no, no, that's a knight, right? Because what is the symbol for dog? Uh, how do I check? Well, I guess this shows in the bottom right. See, the dogs have a little hat, but the knights, hmm, so let me check this again. So no, they're effective against our dogs, but they're weak against, I guess, the knights? It's it's super hard to tell. Um, just seems like a learning curve kind of thing. The unfortunate thing here is I don't really know, but that would do 15% damage, it's like nothing. Oh, the, we've gotten Emmerich into a bad situation now. My best bet is to get him into the trees and attack from there, and we're gonna end up losing our things for it, though, which is a total shame. I have a spell for this. I would sure hope so. Ooh, that did decent, actually. This is really tough. Um, I'm gonna move this javelin dude out this way. I suppose, yeah. And we still have you over here, so I could not do that. Are you kidding me? Fine. That really stinks. I can't real like, I really can't move you any more than that. I mean, at the least I could do this, and that do some extra damage. Man, that really does stink. And they did some damage too. Okay, so with that done, huh. I need this guy to get up there as soon as possible. They just need some extra help. So I'm gonna do that, and then I could have this dog come up and almost finish them. Jeez, why are they so tough? This dog can't. This dog can't really move too far either. I think we need to move these dogs over this way, so move one like that. We do have a limited amount of vision now. And have you move into the trees. And then spawn in, I think, another knight. How much money do we have now? We have 1,295, so we're doing pretty well still. Move you here, because it gives me a little bit more vision. And at this rate, all I have to move are dogs, so I think we're fine. Turn 12. It's getting tough, it's getting really tough. Okay, probably shouldn't have skipped that. So they're gonna be able to take it out this turn, but they're not gonna be able to take it. All right. Oh, here comes a pup. Who's gonna win this one? 
They do already have more health than we do. This is really stinking tough. I like how the dogs run away. They don't like die, which is good. I don't want to see the dogs pass out or anything. I just want to see them run away. These guys sort of fade away, but the uh, the dogs run away, which is good to know. They live on to another day. Um, so there is so much happening. This has gotten very overwhelming. This game is very very challenging. I think we should be able to win this altercation, or at least have some kind of damage. Yeah, there we go. And then we can take them out next round. Turn 13. This dog is very low. And these guys are a pain in the butt. At this rate, I think we need to get the knight over and attack it. We'll do 113% damage, so that's excellent if you ask me. Okay. Maybe I should have used the other knight to do that. There's a lot of units around me. So I could, ooh, definitely get rid of these guys. All right. There's a lot of options, but I think this is where we're gonna use Emmerich's, uh, Emmerich's Wargroove power. Because I, I could have you actually capture this, and that's really what I want. Yeah! Yeah! I should get it to what, like 30%? All right. All right, then, Emmerich, go ahead and use your Elder Shield. I can either put it here, put it there, gotcha. Well, this seems pretty good to me because this will catch a lot of enemy or a lot of teammates. This should protect us. Hopefully. Oh, cool, so I'll just sort of chill out here. Allied units within the Crystal Aura enjoy increased defense. Crystal's health depletes over time. All right, it also has a little bit of defense. That's not how I expected that to work. So we can attack these guys and take them out before they can do anything. So it started really well. It's been going downhill since. So I'll be trying to get two missions done in an episode. I think that'd be a pretty good idea because of how long this takes. This would do 8%. I don't know how much I like that. Um, what I could do, just sort of move them over so that these guys can come in. I mean, these guys can just take them out right now. Hmm. All right, well then I definitely wanna move them in the range of the extra defense, so do that. So we might have a little bit less vision here. Yeah, but that's fine, it's fine. Um, so I'm gonna go ahead and get uh, another dog out because our dogs are looking a little weak right now. I'll get them set up right now on the mountain. That's actually pretty nice to know. I can do that. Enough to almost take these guys down right there. That's enough to take these guys down though, so I'll just go ahead and do that. Hey, hey! Okay. So definitely I'm trying to spread the wealth of all of our units, but it can be tough. I think that we do need to move the dog from here and then maybe move one of these guys closer to it. Just slowly but surely, piece by piece, get that done. And at this rate, I want him to stay there so I can just go ahead and do that. Why I'm not just ending the turn is I'm trying to make extra sure everything is taken care of as much as possible. There we go. I could have just ended the turn maybe and not have made them wait in place, but I didn't want to do that if I didn't have to. Oh, where are these guys coming in from? The the river. What which village was that? The one we just took? Great. <laughs> Alright, so these guys are attacking from the mountains, which means they're not gonna oh, they're doing plenty of damage. Never mind. What the heck? Where are they? And then these are new, these are rangers, which do some good damage. They're suddenly very powerful. Oh my gosh. So turn 14. We got these guys up here. I don't know where the rangers were from. Probably somewhere around there. Have these guys wait here and it all becomes much more clear. I could do this, but it wouldn't be that great. Huh, and then there's, oh, there's Emmerich. No, not Emmerich, I mean, no, is this? Yeah, this is a commander. Uh, a capable but f vicious, what is his name? It's Sedge, yeah. A capable but vicious Florin, generally who cuts, general who cuts a shadowy figure. I don't think I can get anybody up there to beat him up just yet, hopefully soon. I think that we'll do another pikeman and get him over that way. Continue making this guy walk. Well, I didn't want him to reinforce himself, gosh darn it, but I guess it gets him up to eight, which is pretty good. Um, then have you 
mean, it wouldn't be a problem if you were in the woods, like over here maybe? Just for some extra defense. And then these guys should be able to attack from above, but it won't be doing much damage, unfortunately. So we might actually need more units down there now. We'll try it. That stinks. Hmm. So we should be able to take them out next time, I think. And I've already spawned something in. That decreased our vision a little bit. So I want to be doing enough damage to take them out there. This would be doing 78 from the river though, which I don't like. 78. Huh. I could get this dog out there and do 62, and then get another dog. I can't get another dog, okay. Um, I can at least get them on the bridge to have them attack. The rangers are gonna be tough, but they can only attack one unit right now anyways, so. Pretty cool visual there, I like that. Oh, poor pup. Definitely enough to take them down one way or another. Hmm. You would think there'd be some other way I could get around. Maybe if I move the javelin dudes so that they're like here. I mean, this might not help at all, we'll find out. But they can capture. And we're just gonna skip this because we've already seen it a couple times. But now can this guy go around? He can, but still not enough to do anything much. So we'll just do this. It should get rid of them. And it does. Uh, we got this one. Which we can even move these guys out. Let me read about these guys. These are solar more powerful infantry. Critical hit one adjacent to another spearman, of course. They are effective against the, the, uh, the horses. So we, we, we don't want to bother with that. Archers, though. A little bit of a different story. I'm gonna try to keep moving this dog out, I think. Because we need more people on the front line right now. Like, I know they're gonna have more people sneaking up behind, and I know we gotta do something about that, but I only have one barracks, so it's, it's, it's hard to do anything about that. 85-4, I mean, I could beat this thing up. Oh, and be able to take it out right now. Obviously, that wouldn't do too much, but I mean, it would give them a little bit less coins to work with. Don't know if that's really that big of a deal, but maybe it distracts them for at least a little longer. That could be good. It may just be smarter, though, to weaken their troops. Oh, it's so hard to say. Because obviously, he's moving closer and closer. Maybe it'd be better to play defensive. Got this dog is a little low. Can't move there because there's already something there. So it might just be smarter to have this dog out in front if it's already almost out, you know? 14%. And a 14%, what am I talking about? Turn 14. So I was reading percentages just a second ago. And there goes those guys. Yikes. And that's not gonna be good. Yeah, we didn't do any damage to them. Oh, stop attacking my villages. Luckily this village is actually full, so this might actually get rid of them afterwards. Yeah, well, okay, so I don't, I'm not really worried about that, unless I have another one around here. <laughs> Excellent, it looks like that was the last of their rear ambush units. Now we can focus all of our efforts on the Florin on the northern front. I can only hope that's the case. To win this battle, we must defeat their barracks now, or their commander. Hopefully more of them don't pop up later. So they're afraid of going across the water as well, though. So these guys actually could do a lot of damage. What might be smart is doing a lot of damage here and then having these guys finish them off. All right. Hmm. Yeah, I guess we'll move this guy farther down. Emmerich, I need to start moving you somewhere, buddy. I'm gonna move you over this way. No, I didn't want you to, oh gosh darn it. I keep on forgetting that's a thing you can do. This guy I can't do too much to. These ones I can take out almost right away. Let's try this. Get rid of a fair chunk of them. They don't even get rid of one of them, so we still have a lot of an advantage there. Because we also have our extra shielding around here. Okay. Hmm. Can this dog, in theory, yes. Okay, that's what I wanted to see. So what we can do here, do not enter turn. That'd make me very upset if I did that by accident. Hmm. 
2651. What are these guys? These are archers, okay. And they are effective against dogs, so we don't want that. I could, though, get you in the forest over this way. Ooh, nice vision. Get you on the to the uh, trees afterwards. That'll be good. Let's do a little bit of that. So yeah, what I'm gonna do here, I think, is just right now have you attack. And if we don't have to worry about enemies coming through our back lines anymore, then I definitely can move everybody up, unless that's just baloney and the game's lying to me. That'll do 32%, it's not much right now, but then after that, we're gonna have the other dogs come up and do their critical damage, and seeing how they're a larger unit, they should also be able to do, oh wait, are all of them gone? No, there's still one more left, okay. We should still be able to do a lot here, 75, enough to take them down and not take any damage, we still have a full, full, full unit of, of Poop, poops, no, not poops, pups. <laughs> okay, so obviously the vision here is lowered, but we can once again get one more set of battle pups out and immediately have them take some vision over. At this rate, all I really have to move are like these guys, so I can move him out. And then this guy I can move a bit more forward. I definitely think I need to get some more rangers out, but in the meantime, I can move this guy here and make him reinforce himself. And that's good for now. If there's no risk, if there really is no risk of a, uh, what's it called? Um, yikes, yikes, that was really powerful. Um, if there really is no risk of any guys showing up from behind. Don't know if that's actually the case though. So. Turn 16. This has been really, really difficult so far. This thing is getting lower on health, but right now it's pretty, it's doing pretty well. So what's gonna be good against these units? Archers are really my only bat out of what is there, what I actually have, you know? Then I'm just bombarding them with dogs. Right now we could uh, yeah, move out this way and attack this thing. We do more damage to it than it's doing to us, so that's something. Come on. I know we need more than one of these guys around. Only problem is they already had more health to begin with. I don't know if I want to move Emmerich out just yet, so we're gonna go ahead and put him on a mountain. All right, this guy can move out, and like, we won't even do an advantageous amount of damage, though, is a problem. So I think we're gonna have you wait over here, and have this guy wait into the armored section. Yeah, move this guy farther along as well. Something like that. I think we want to make him move along the path. And this will do 4%, that'll do 3. I mean, these guys are going to get taken out this turn by the archer, probably. So I want to be able to. I mean, maybe it'd be smart to move them this way and see what kind of vision they can get. All right. Have you move forward. Have you move one step forward. Okay. You can do 56, 45. We're losing a lot of damage there, a lot of health. So I might just, that's sort of the thing though, with the amount of range, or a lot of damage these archers can do, we need to take them down. I just wish we had more than one barracks so that we can spawn in more than one unit per round, because that's sort of the big holdup right now. You know, this is just one mission, it's taking almost 40 minutes. I don't know if I can do two of these in one episode. <laughs> this is getting crazy. Uh, we'll go ahead and get you on the mountain and get even more vision. And that's the best we can do there. Turn 16. This is really tough. And this is Sedge himself, so he's gonna be able to take these guys out, unfortunately. Makes me sad. Uh, and he's gone again. And these guys are gonna go at it. It looks like the archer's gonna probably win that. Oh, oh, but they couldn't attack back? Oh, that was the archers, duh. Yeah, of course not. Yikes, this is really tough. This is really, really difficult. Like even when I'm trying to play to advantage to what we have, it's just not working. So my best bet here, like what's what are the archers weak against? And the spike men are weak against archers, so it's like I'm trying to make that work. Turn 17. Where am I? I'm over here. So what are you guys weak against? Americ, knights, and dogs. But they're also effective against dogs. But they're both weak and effective against them and knights as well. So I could try to get this knight up here at this week, it's not, uh, this rate is not gonna work. 
And apparently these guys are weak against them too, but at the same time, oh, it's doing 109. Okay. And then what if I got up here, it's doing 114, that'd be a lot better of an advantage, so we'll try it. It can't attack the archers from here, unfortunately. But we can do this. So we need more knights, because I feel like the knights actually have a good advantage against most of these guys. Because these these ones, like I said, are not weak against knights, but this one is weak against the archers, so we can take that advantage just fine if we have you attack this unit from wherever you can. Could you go here? Yes, you can attack from there. That'd be great. Because now you have even more extended vision. I would like to have another archer, but I might focus on another knight first, because we do have an archer down below that we're just gonna make march up. So yeah, go up this way. Uh, I mean, we could finish them off right here. That might be worth it. Let's try it. I know our dogs are really spread out at the moment. I didn't realize they were gonna end up in the water. That's a risk. Oh no, it didn't take them out. It didn't do much damage to us, but it didn't take them out, which is the big problem. Hmm. So I'll keep having this guy just slowly move through the woods. And I think we'll get another knight out for now. And I think that's why it gives us so much money, you know? It's only if we could just buy them out and buy into a win. That'd be great. So this dog could go against this dog and it wouldn't actually be an advantage. Hmm. And there's no way we're really attacking anything else. I'm just gonna inch forward a little bit, get more vision, so that there's more knights coming in. And Emmerich here's only at 40% with his stuff, so I'm finally gonna make him cross the water. And Javelin dudes can stand on this mountain. Ooh, this is tough. So, oh, okay, I don't, I, I probably shouldn't have been holding the B button for that. They're actually moving into the mountain here, and that was enough to take them down, wow. I don't like it. So I'm gonna probably have to have Emmerich on that mountain now. Turn 18. Is it supposed to go on for this long? Am I gonna get like a D rank for this? I really hope not, but I'm expecting it. So attack these guys without even having the move would be great. This is that one little part of it that we have to do. The dogs could move forward and attack this. Don't know if it's quite a good idea yet. This would be perfect, actually. I just wanna get rid of these guys as soon as possible. Make some vision as well. Okay. We have some knights around here that we could really work into it. Cause doesn't this do like, yeah, it does 105%. That would be great. And this is where we might need to get some foot soldiers in. Because we can get rid of this thing, but we can't quite steal it with what we currently have. We need somebody who can capture. Which is why it'd be amazing just to get a foot soldier. Get this guy around here. And move this archer farther up. I'm gonna be so upset if more troops end up popping up down at the, at the bottom. This would do 92% and it's about the best I can ask for. Unless I wanna hide in these trees, which I'd rather just have Emmerich. He can't get up there, seriously? Fine, then go into these trees. Oh, there was somebody there! Okay, well that's the best we can get then. That's sort of messed up, but okay. This would do 85% to them, then I think we're gonna take it. So the knights are really, really important. We need as many knights as we can get, but they can't take villages, so we need um, swordsmen to be with them. That's sort of our main juggle situation right now that we have to you know balance out with. I mean, I think I need somebody back here. Like we need, so I might just keep that guy there. Keep pushing this guy forward. Um, and after, at that rate, that should be everybody. So just like make you wait just to make sure. Cause I don't want to move any troops or not move any troops that I could have moved. So that dog ran away. And that's it. That, that was a very lackluster turn for them, which is good for us. Um, I can already have this guy run off and do something else, even if it's taking care of you. Hmm. Might be worth it. Might also be worth it to have this dog move up. 71%. Let's go ahead and wait in these trees, and you can see there's a lot more units waiting for us. Get this archer moving soon, but in the meantime, I think it's finally time that we get a carriage, actually. I wish we could actually properly use it this time around. Can't put a carriage on a mountain. Okay, that makes sense. Is I could get like a knight on there. 
it's gonna be faster for him just to walk up and take it. But that person up there is gonna try to take it as well. Okay, that's something we gotta be careful of. Is that this person's probably gonna try to snag it. Now that's down again. And we're not gonna have an easy time getting it back. That is something for sure. Um, and why that is, is because we were able to get the 100% damage there because we ran up with six paces. So my best bet is like doing 80% to you, you do 66% to that. Let's do something like that then. It's good to do damage while we can, even if it's not 100% damage. That's still really good. Those troops are rather weak now. So maybe I should have focused on taking care of that lady while we could, because now I definitely can't. Probably should have done that with the dogs. That vision really isn't much. That's pretty lackluster. I gotta make them move up one unit. And then for now, I'll have these guys wait in the water, because I honestly don't see them being able to sneak up on us from anywhere. And I'll have this guy here for now. I think is gonna be fine. Is that everybody? Well, this guy still. I'm undecided with him. I just gotta make him attack something then. I could do you for 140, I could do them for 75, isn't that all that bad? But I think 85 on them sounds great as well. And it sort of blocks them off a little bit from the village. They can still take the village, but they're gonna be so low on health that it's gonna be next to no health for that village. So we can attack it again and then seal it again. So that sort of helps us not make it a hot potato game with the village, which is nice to know. So these guys are gonna go against these knights and we both have a plus three defense, so it looks like they will have the attack advantage, for sure. The javelins are pretty strong. And I knew it, I knew it. Oh my gosh, I knew it. So, what's my best bet here? Oh no, you stinker, you better not take them all out in one hit. I was gonna say, I'm gonna be so upset. We get to attack a little bit back, so that's good. I mean, that's how we took out Cigna. Is that her name? You know, the, the angry barbarian lady. And they attack it back a little bit, that's good. Is that she overextended and kept attacking us, we were able to attack back really well. So, the only problem is that Emmerich is pretty far out at this point on his own, which might just be good, it keeps him at full health. Why is this not giving much vision? It's on top of a mountain. Um, But yeah, at this rate, I can attack you for 10%, 48%, you know, do that. I think it would be good to do something like this and then take it. I know they're gonna take it right back, which is sort of the struggle, but while this is happening, maybe we can still sneak some more troops over on other sides, you know? Because at this rate, I could now get like this guy in there, load it, and then move it somewhere real far. Like even as far as over here or over there. I think we need more troops sneaking on over this way. So you know what? Drop them and drop them. I don't know what's with the 82%, I don't know, the 82% is their health, okay. And then we can move you over like this and attack. You do 80% to him, 9% to him. We need to take out these troops. There's so many of them right now. So damaging them up as much as possible. It sounds like a grand time to me. And I actually took them out. Awesome, I didn't see that. I didn't see that was gonna happen. So we need to take this village right now because taking that's not gonna be all that helpful. Capture this. And in you go. <laughs> And they might be able to beat it up again, but if we can have that extra turn of having an advantage of coins, you know, I don't think that's gonna hurt. So let's go ahead and get some more knights out, I think. Because at this rate, I mean, obviously, these guys aren't vulnerable to anything, but these guys, we need to take advantage of their vulnerabilities as much as possible, which means more rangers would be great, but I think for now, that's the best we can really do with that. I mean, I probably should be doing a better job with checking this, but honestly, not too many of them can move too far out because of this sort of traffic jam we have over here. So I could take you out, not too much of an issue there. Hmm. There's a lot of opportunities for sure. It might be smarter just to have these guys sneak over and attack this village a little bit. I mean, obviously they don't have too much health right now. And they did take damage from that too, so I don't know how smart of an idea that ended up being. But we need more dogs, we need more dogs. So go ahead and get more dogs. And I think we're gonna have this guy in the trees, have this pup come over, and take out one more unit. If we could trade like that, that'd be great. I mean, our pup should stay without even actually losing any damage yet, which is a great advantage to have. And I still think it's good to keep this guy here. I mean, 
because we need to eliminate the risk of them crossing this water. Once they cross this river, we're in so much more trouble. All right, let's end the turn. And it's turn 20. I'm so sorry I'm really bad at this game. This is where things are gonna go big, I think downhill in a big way for me when it comes to playing the game. And some people are gonna be like, oh, Zebra, you stink, I'm so angry. I just, I'm sorry if that happens, but at the same time, I, I try my best. Oh no, not even a single point of damage onto him. So that's where it gets, gets tough to progress like that. Honestly, none of them attacked the village yet, which is a big surprise to me. Big surprise to me indeed. Um, we're gonna move some more dogs out then. I'm gonna move this pup over to here for now. I am so surprised by the fact that they didn't attack too much there. But they must be recouping for, or you know, like regrouping for something. I don't think he can attack from here, but what he can definitely do is attack from the trees. And do 10%, I mean, that's a big amount of damage when you consider the fact that he is the commander. And if we get rid of him, it's done, it's over, we win. So like, I could attack him for 15. We could really start stacking that. I wanna move these guys just an inch closer. I wanna move this guy along the path. And then, hmm. Let's move him a little bit more along the trees. You see, there's a, still that javelin guy over there. I'm gonna move these guys here. I don't wanna move more archers over, because we could actually, yeah, move them like here and attack. We could actually really stack some damage on him this round. Wait, but I didn't, oh, I'm a moron, sorry. I mean, moron's a little bit of a harsh word, I'm sorry. Shouldn't use that word. I'm a dingus, there, that's better. Uh, let's do this. And like, I could attack, it's 11%, but then we're taking 44. I wish we could, like, I don't see why, oh, because horses can't go on mountains. Keep forgetting that. I mean, I'd, I'd have a hard time climbing a mountain. Like, I could do the 15 there, or I could get a ton of vision, but like, I don't know how much the vision really is going to apply to being helpful, you know? So let's just knock him down a little bit farther. If he's gonna heal 10% every turn, I think he could take all these guys out, or very close to it, so, I mean, honestly, if we keep them after attacking the, oh, he has his move, I don't know what his move is. For God, of course, they're gonna be able to do their moves too. Only makes sense. Okay, so if I make you wait in place, that should be just about everybody moved? It is, so turn 21. What's your Sadistic thing? rush. Oh no. He took out that unit. That's fine, actually. Uh, who's gonna win here? Definitely the, uh, yeah, those guys, because they have an advantage over it. And those are the guys that are weak to archers, which is, it's really tough to make that work. Um, but it is a spearman versus spearman, and they still kick our butts really badly. Um, my best thing there is just to get Emmerich out, I think. <laughs> oh no. Ooh, totally destroying it in one hit. That's what I've been worried about. Um. Okay. Let's get some more dogs out. Like I could get into the mountain and hit you for 14%. That'd knock you down to 65, which isn't as much as I'd prefer. Uh, I could hit you for 65% and only take 2% damage, which would be great. If I were to attack that do 14, that would definitely be enough to take him down. And that might be worth my while. Here, there you go. So we're just gonna skip this real fast, because I know this trip is gonna get taken out afterwards, but if they can just do that little bit of damage, and then you can finish them off, that'd be great. I'm definitely having the archers attack as much as I can. Okay, they can attack from here. Oh, they can actually take this out. Oh, interesting. I'd rather have Javelin, Javelin Dude do it. Hmm, okay. I mean, I could, in theory, start working this guy out and have him go out with Emmerich as well. Drop him off right here. I actually don't want him in the woods this time. I think I need another knight. Got it. So th can this guy go ahead and take it? He can indeed. Go ahead and capture that again. Because these guys are at full, so this should be a 50% health. 
which would be pretty good. And maybe if we bombard, uh, what's his name? Uh, Sedge, that'd be very good. So like attack, but not from there if I can manage. No, I didn't mean to do that, gosh darn it. Oh, that stinks. I didn't want to attack like that. Oh, that has me really frustrated. Cause like, I don't want to run up to him to attack him like this. Like that doesn't make any sense. Why can't I just do it from afar? They're rangers, that's the entire point. So that was a waste. Maybe it was better to make the other guy wait. Oh, that has me really upset. <laughs> okay, so 14%, I mean, he's down to 73%, which really isn't that much when I think about it. And his groove is still full. I thought he used this thing. I mean, I guess because he's been attacking so much, it builds back up. That's concerning. I mean, the bright side now is if I make my way over to Sedge with Emmerich, maybe we can do enough to take him down. If he's gonna start doing this rush. Like, what is his groove at now? It's still at 100%. No, it's not. Okay, no. Maybe it was just taking a second. Mmm, that really stinks so. Like, this is gonna take another 20 turns. This is insane. Is this supposed to take this long? Or am I really that bad? I mean, I know it's gonna be some extent really awful. I just don't know how much I should be rushing Emmerich and how much I should be focusing on the barracks because at this point, it's insane. Um, What are these guys weak to? Are they weak to archers or not? Those guys are. But still only doing 25%? Because for whatever reason, these archers forgot the whole idea about being an archer and want to attack right next to them. Like, that doesn't make any sense. Oh, I don't get it. I'll go ahead and get these guys over here. 72% to you, 54 to you, 85 and an immediate takedown sounds wonderful to me. All right, so. There we go. I know we're not getting this village back as it is right. See, that one works. And now I can stand here and attack them from a distance and that'd be enough. Well, it wouldn't be enough to take them out, but we wouldn't take any damage back. Hmm. I think it'd be good to attack these guys. Oh my gosh, it's so difficult. So crazy tough. This, right, I, I feel like I need, because I could do this and then how far can this move out? This can move all the way out to there. Like just have you walk for now. The only problem with doing that, right, is that I can't actually do anything this turn. We'll see how this ends up working. I might utterly regret this. But at this point, I'm getting my butt kicked and I'm trying to play as conservatively as possible. Maybe I need to play a little bit non-conservatively. I need another archer. I mean, ah oh man, what I'd give to be able to just to spawn in two things instead of one. And that's gonna hurt. And I don't even know if I wanna see it because it just, jeez, they have all the advantages in all the right ways. And I'm gonna be so upset if I fail this because I'm gonna have to do it all over, which is like, jeez Louise, that's gonna take forever. I'm definitely tempted to start maybe focusing on lowering the difficulty a little bit, because I do want to get through the game sometime this millennium. Because they're all rushing their way over here now, of course, because they're all jerks. Um, the best thing I can do here, I think, attack you for 80% sounds amazing. Attack. Archers are down to one or 10% now. So my best bet is probably to get a wagon, put it here, and get the archer into it, so that next turn, they can do something more effective. Uh, these la this lady is still a total jerk, which is why we really need, I mean, the archers are supposed to be what's good against them. We just need better archers, I guess. Attack. It's just one archer and that's a problem, I guess. Took care of one of them though. So I'm gonna have the knights really move somewhere here. Like, oh my God, it's more javelin people though. Like, oh my gosh, it's gonna drive me insane. Nobody's really seemed to be defending to the right. I know we still haven't taken this village back, but honestly, neither have they. I need to take you out. All right. So, Emmerich, you could do 75% to it, but you'd be out in the open, so let me just move this thing way back. I don't wanna reinforce it. I guess that's fine. This village is not taking much damage. Uh. And I'm sure there's somebody right next to us who's gonna destroy us for doing this, but 
Might as well beat it up while I have the chance. He has a spell for this. Definitely I'll be making sure to read as much advice on this game as I possibly can manage because I feel like I'm just having a hard time all around. So who can move? Um. Oh, the dog. Dog has not moved. Uh, we'll go ahead and move him into these trees and see what's around. Not really anyone. I know I need more dogs, but it's like, if with only one thing permission, or permission per turn, that's really tough to do anything about, you know? That is a little bit of damage. At this point, we're doing worse than sedges, and that's really, really frustrating. Because like, what do you do? In a situation like this, it just seems utterly hopeless. It's just so much to get through. So I really hope we can make it work, even if we the brute force it. Like, I'll learn what I can from it, because this is, I desperately don't want to have to do it over. Because that'll mean that this entire hour has gone to waste. I don't like that very much. One little pup causing problems over here. So, what I can do now, turn 25, how insane is that? Is like, move over onto the mountain and attack this. 25% damage, it's doing a good chunk back, which is a problem. I need more knights and dogs and everything. I need more of everything. So I feel like if I do redo this, I'm gonna have to make my way out to the bar barracks as soon as possible. Oh, this is tough. This is just straight up really difficult. He can take this out, which would be great actually. Hey! We can worry about taking it next turn. So this has somebody in it? No, it does not. But this one does. Um, so we can move this one here, drop here into the mountain, and then be able to attack from where you are would be pretty huge. But you can't. You can't attack this turn. You haven't done anything this turn. Oh, that's just not cool. I don't like that very much. Twenty-four percent damage there. Might as well. If nobody's over here, let's take the advantages we can. I mean, this is their weak point. It's batter them down as much as possible. I don't like that though. If they use their turn last turn to go into the wagon, they should be able to do something outside of the wagon this time. It doesn't make any sense. So we'll go ahead and get something here. I'm just gonna put it there. And then, what do we want? Uh, I think we need another battle pup. The thing is, the battle pup doesn't need the car. I mean, maybe it could be useful. Has So the ranger hasn't attacked, which is just like super duper dumb. At this rate then, we might as well capture it. So we got that. I mean, in total, I have more villages than they do, and that doesn't seem like it's gonna change anytime soon. So like, I am slowly I but surely winning, but I feel like I'm dwindling as it's happening, and soon enough, they are going to jump back, and they are going to win. And they're gonna turn this around on me. Cause like, Sedge just keeps showing up and doing this, which it might not even take out all of our troops, which is good, so we can attack back a little bit. It, when I said a little bit, I meant a little bit. <laughs> and then these guys should be good, but it doesn't matter, they're gonna get taken out. Yikes. Okay, and then you guys are going against them. I thought that they were two spaces away from them. Jeez Louise, I feel like they're getting stronger as we go on here. And then don't take it. How many of them do you have? This is what exactly what I just said. Exactly what I just said. Man, that stinks. But if we can just rush up there and take their barracks, like maybe that's a better strategy. Who knows? At this rate. Wish I could beat you up right now. Hmm. Still rather get this dog up this way. Ah, but that's such a bad idea with all those guys hanging out there. We need to t capture this just like that. And you better bet that Emmerich is making his way over. Oh, not Emmerich, Sedge. I don't know why I get the names mixed up, but I do. It's just what I'm doing. Um. So you know what, I'm gonna load this with you. I'm gonna get another wagon back over. I do think that the double wagon strategy is still very useful. Because we can move way over here and they'll have no hopes of doing that. Drop off the pooch right here. Wish we could have done it one space closer. Don't think that we would have been able to anyways. Hmm. 
Will this be enough to take these guys out? Not quite, but I'll leave them very low. So we're gonna be back like down to 5%. 2028, that's crazy when you think about it. It's like dogs are not good against villages. What is good against villages? Vulnerable to knights. Oh, I mean, I guess it makes sense. It's just a problem of where the knights are placed at the moment. And these guys again are vulnerable to knights as well. Then I think it's time for another knight. It's just a javelin, guys. Mess everything up, everything. It's so tough. And the best thing I can do for Emmerich is, oh no, I didn't want to reinforce. That's gonna make that tougher as well, because we need to get, because there's no, no way I'm gonna get Sedge here, you know? No way. So I have to be able to take all these villages, and that's where this gets really tough. Really tough indeed. Like maybe it would be smarter to let them move in, but they're not going to do that, you know? They're always going to just stay on their side of the river, so I need to advance and get rid of Sedge. I think, I mean, at some point it would just be like the stalemate. Ooh, it's tough. No matter which way I, I seem to put it. For this. Yeah, you better have a spell for this. Um, no matter how, which way I try to put this, it just seems almost unworkable. And I know that's probably all my fault, and I should just get good, but in the meantime, man, is this tough. So they took that village back, so now they're sort of s stealing away all the advantages I made. So he, Sedge is just being a, a jerk over here and beating up our wagon. I don't like that. He can't even. It can't even turn around right now. Um, can this dog make his way over there at all? It can't. At this point, maybe it'd be better just so it can scout around. Yeah, just like move it over here. Let it scout. That'd be a waste of 300 coins. But we have so much coins. Like that doesn't even matter. Uh, so yeah, have you go like this? The only problem is that'd be enough to lose out on the dog. Wait, why wait? No, no, don't wait for sure. These guys are at full health, so you'd think this would do decent. It's only gonna do 54%, so that's fine. So anyway, you get, you're down to six, and then we can have you attack, and 15% is a critical, so it's something. But it's, he still has so much health. Like, oh my gosh. My best bet is to take this back now. And like, I could brute force my way through this. I don't still think it's a good idea. Get rid of this, these two this little do the grass dogs, I guess. I don't know. But this is exactly what I was worried about. They are getting really nasty here. We need an archer, so I'm gonna go ahead and get one. Put them there, just so that they can protect our side of the river, because that's where they're starting to push into now. And I do not like it. Attack, we gotta get rid of this thing now. Okay, so the only unit that can really do much, and at this point, if it's gonna get taken out, might as well have it do some damage. 49% over this way. So yeah, now he's down to 47, he did 2% to the 49. Um, I thought that's all, that's all my units except for this one, okay. How crazy tough is this? We're approaching turn 30. Please just don't turn this around on me. I mean, I know they're going to because this game seems to be insane so far. Like, I love it, but it's mind-blowingly difficult for still being technically very early in the game, you know? <laughs> so like, I don't want there to be entire episodes where I don't make any progress, but that might just be the nature of the beast for a game like this, is that there might be episodes where I take a crack at it and I don't make any progress. I'm really sorry for that, but I mean, if I have an hour, I have an hour. They're, of course, attacking the wagon, which, surprise, surprise, is going to get taken out. And it just feels like this idea of taking all the, the units or the, all the villages is not going to work. So I can, like, attack you from a distance. I do 75%, which is pretty good. All right. And then my other best bet, then, like, I tried to keep the dogs together as, as long as possible. It just couldn't keep up, because I also need them to spread out to actually see stuff. So if I do have to do this again, which is looking more and more likely by the turn, I think what I'll end up doing is making it so that um, we go right for the barracks as soon as possible. Because 
I don't see how else we could get enough units to defend against all this, because we're just dwindling more and more each round, no matter if I'm spending a new one each round, you know? So they're just, luckily they're spending their free time beating up on this poor carriage, but that does give us some advantages in one way or another. Because the Rangers are stronger than them advantage-wise. Turn 29. There's really not too much more I can do here except for like hiding a couple trees. And we can do an Ender Shield, or Elder Shield. Put it there. That might help us Cherry a little bit. Stones defend us. It's just us and a couple of pikemen. And there he is. Which I could have him come up. I want him to take this village. We don't need the village, though. Like, that's the thing. We have so many coins. If we're not gonna go for the full village takeover, it might not be worth it. All right, so how much would this do? Enough to take them out, maybe? Yeah, okay, awesome. And then we'll have you hide over this way and be able to attack from distance. Enough to take them down, maybe? I think it was 33%, so yes. See, this, I really do like the archers, and it looks like I need them more and more, so. I'm gonna get another ranger out, and put them right in front, and then we're also gonna have this move away, so hopefully it doesn't get taken out. I mean, I can move as far to up here. Let's do it. Because there's a lot of pathways that the wagons could really take a huge advantage on. Because maybe if we started beating up on him, he wouldn't be able to get away if we used the wagon appropriately, right? Maybe? So that's gonna hurt the archers more than I had appreciated, more than hoped for, I guess. No, don't attack the crystal, you monsters! And don't attack him! You're also monsters! There's no way I could brute force it with that many units protecting him. No way. They have to know that Emmerich's in the trees, though. <laughs> sort of funny. Uh, at this rate, I mean, what are my chances of going here? Doing 74% damage, it would take them a second to turn around. I might be able to get Blinding rid of it. Blinding Blast! Blinding Blast. <laughs> All right, cool. Um, so. Definitely attack you and get rid of you. Attack. And then I'm gonna just have this thing run back down. It's safe now, so it should be fine. I need these guys to move out a little bit. Wait here. And then I guess wait here. Wait, no, I want to wait. And then I think we're gonna have to have some more, so many options, but hard to say. Because it's not really about it being cheap anymore. It's about it having as much effectiveness for that unit as possible. So yeah, they're gonna start attacking Emmerich here, who's honestly surprisingly high on health. And these guys are attacking the crystal. Surge isn't doing too much. He's down to 70% now, which I think is about on par for Serge. So um, we could attack this. We can't take it this round, so chances are they'll take Lightning it back. Uh, you think you can beat Serge so easily? Oh, did that work? Awesome, we won, never mind, awesome. Okay, so I thought that we had to take the barracks and I thought the objective was to take the, bar the barracks at all the villages. This isn't the end of the hunt. Serge will catch you. Okay, well this says Sedge will watch you, Sedge will stalk you, and when you least expect it, Sedge will pounce. Oh. Sedge! There you are! Who are these strangers? We're... Invaders! Huh? Humans... Humans bent on the destruction of the Gloomwoods! Sedge got them, Sedge defeated them. That's not true. Greenfinger need not worry, soon they will be dead. Greenfinger? The Florin King. Are we just going right into a fight? Victory! And we got a D rank. I was expecting that. I was expecting it. Gosh darn it. I'm guessing that like, because some of you have even been telling me that there's like a specific ending you can get if you get enough stars. You unlock the Florin Codex, very cool. Um, so what I may try to do eventually is go back into these missions and earn up more stars that way. This is Act 2, Side 1. And then over this way, what do we have? This is Act 2, Mission 2. So I guess we'll probably start next episode with Act 2, Side 1 and see how that ends up going on. Hmm, one thing I'm also noticing is that the first two levels have golden flags while these ones have red. Wonder exactly what that means. Maybe not losing a single unit 
probably. So we'll have to continue improving and exploring. But for now, we got the place Amrik, which is a lot of fun, a very long and tough mission, but we were able to surprisingly win that. Now that I know I can just go for the barracks, I probably should have double checked that, but I thought, I don't know. I feel like I, I might have more power than I expect. If I go for a sneak attack with the wagon, just ride right up there and beat it up, maybe it would be fine. Guess we'll have to find out a little bit more in the next episode of War Groove. If you watch this point of video, make sure you comment Emmerich is Zebra, so now you've watched at the end of the URA Zebra Tazic viewer. Check out more episodes like this one on your screen right now, or by subscribing to join the Zebra Herd. Out of the way, thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you next time. Bye bye.